¡Viva el pueblo de Ayacucho! ¡Viva! ¡Viva el pueblo de Juliaca! ¡Que viva! ¡Viva el pueblo de Ilave! ¡Viva! ¡Viva el Perú! ¡Viva! We are here in front of the United Nations in order to raise our voice before the crimes against humanity that are being committed by the government of Dina Boluarte in our country. The government of Boluarte was installed in December of last year after the impeachment of President Castillo. This government has killed in total about 65 people right until this moment in different demonstrations that have been brutally repressed by the police forces and by the army of the, of the Peruvian state. We think that what is happening requires the urgent attention of the international community. The United Nations, through its different agencies, the Organization of American States, the European Union, and the neighbors of Peru need to be attentive to the massacre that is taking place and need to stop what's happening. For starters, the countries that give Peru armament, support, or aid in any way should stop that now. The government that is leading Peru at this point does not deserve any kind of support of the international community. On the contrary, it must be severely criticized and punished for its crimes. We think that the crimes against humanity committed in Peru bring practical, political and personal responsibilities. Mrs. Boluarte and her ministers should be indicted nationally and internationally for committing crimes against humanity. We are here then as Peruvians from the diaspora to express our solidarity with the people in our country who are claiming for democracy and for a new constitution. En la plazuela de Guanta, amarillito, flor de retama, amarillito, amarillando, flor de retama. En la plazuela de Guanta, amarillito, flor de retama.